Hi, in today's video, I will be covering the basics of algebra. We will see what algebra is, what is an algebraic expression, what are the components of an algebraic expression and some terminologies related to algebraic expression. Okay, so let's move ahead and see what algebra is. Now we know that one branch of maths is arithmetic. One is geometry and the third one which we will read now is algebra. Okay. Now, in arithmetic, we see that in arithmetic we deal with numbers, natural number, integers, whole numbers, okay, positive number, negative number. And what do we do? We perform the operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and so on. Fine. In geometry, what do we deal with? We deal with shapes. It can be two dimensional, it can be three dimensional, etc. Now in algebra, what do we do? In algebra also there are numbers. And in algebra also we perform the operations like plus, minus, multiplication, division. So how is algebra different from arithmetic is that in algebra we have got something called as the unknown or the variable and these unknown or variable can be represented by any small letter from A to Z by any literal. Okay, so algebra consists of the numbers, it consists of the literals which are known as unknowns or the variables and it in that we can perform operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. I hope this much is clear to everyone. Let's move ahead and see what is an algebraic expression. So let us take an example. Okay, suppose we take 2x plus 3. Now this is an algebraic expression. Now let us understand what is an algebraic expression and what all does it consist of. Now we see that 2 and 3 are the numbers or the numerals fine then we have x as our literal which is our variable or the unknown and the third thing which we have are the operands here the operand is plus correct so an algebraic expression is basically a combination of the numerals the literals and the operands correct now let us take some example of algebraic expression so if we write 5x, it's an algebraic expression, number, a literal, 5x plus 2y plus 6, literal, literal, the numbers and the operands. Okay, so I hope it's clear what an algebraic expression is. Okay, now when we talk about algebraic expression, there is something which is known as terms of an algebraic expression. algebraic expression. Now let us see what is called the terms of an algebraic expression. Let us take an example again uh, 5x plus 3y plus 2. Now in this algebraic expression we see that 5x is one term, 3y is other term and 2 is the third term. Okay, so we see that the terms of an algebraic expression 5x, 3y and 2 are separated by the operand plus or minus and these are called the terms. So this particular algebraic expression has got three terms. Okay, if I write 2x plus 2 then how many terms are there? There are two terms which are separated by a plus sign and we have two terms which are 2x and 2. 2 is called the constant term. It doesn't have any variable associated with it. Okay, so now based on the number of terms, our algebraic expression is classified as based on the number of terms. Okay, our algebraic expression can be classified as monomial, a 
binomial a trinomial or and so on or in general all of them are referred to as polynomials okay so when we say based on the number of terms the algebraic expression is classified as monomial it means that when our algebraic expression has got just one term mono means one mono means one with just one term it is called a monomial for example 5x 2y or maybe just a 2 2 is a constant term just an expression with a constant term it's a monomial binomial by as the name suggests means two so an algebraic expression has got two terms 5x or maybe 5x plus 2 or 5x plus 3y trinomial tri meaning three three terms 3a square plus 2a plus 5 and so on and in general all of them are referred to as polynomials okay so monomial is also polynomial a binomial is also polynomial and in general it is referred to as polynomials now there is an important note about the algebraic expressions and polynomials now let me write two algebraic expressions 2x plus 3 and 2 by x plus 3 here we see that the power or the exponent of x is 1 and here the power of the exponent of the variable x is minus 1 why because x is in the denominator so we can write it as 2x to the power minus 1 plus 3 okay so now this is an algebraic expression okay because we have numerals we have literals we have operands this is also an algebraic expression we have numerals constants literals okay and the operands now this is a polynomial too okay but this is not a polynomial why we say that an algebraic expression it's an important point an algebraic expression is not a polynomial if the power of the variable is negative or in other words there is a variable in the denominator i hope this is clear to everyone so in this particular example 2 by x plus 3 it's an algebraic expression but since we have the variable x in the denominator it is not a polynomial and here it is an algebraic expression and it is also a polynomial so i hope this difference is clear that all polynomials are algebraic expression but all algebraic expressions are not polynomials okay and now we move ahead quickly and just understand what do we mean by the constants coefficients the powers in an algebraic expression constants coefficients and the powers in an algebraic expression so let us take an algebraic expression 4x square y plus 3ab plus 6 okay now here 6 is not associated with any variable so 6 is our constant term it's a constant okay now here the power of x is 2 power means the exponent the power of x is 2 the power of y is 1 the power of a is 1 and the power of b is also 1 so we understood what are powers we understood what are constant now what are coefficients here now we say that 4 is the coefficient of coefficient of x square y 3 is the coefficient 
of AB. Understood? So whatever is multiplied to the variable becomes its coefficient. So when we talk about algebraic expression, we should know that there can be a constant term, there can be operands, there can be variables. The variables can be raised to some power. Here x square y x is raised to a power of 2. So the power of x is 2. The power of y is 1. The power of a is 1. And the power of b is 1. And the variable is multiplied to some, const, uh, some numeral here which becomes the coefficient of x square y. Okay. So 4 is the numeral coefficient of x square y. Okay. 3 is the numeral coefficient of a into b. Is this very clear? Okay. So these are the some terminologies which we need to know. The constant coefficients and the powers. And one last thing about the terms is that in an algebraic expression, the terms are separated by a positive or a negative sign. So if we have 2x square y plus 3y, we see that each and every term can be written as the product of the factors. So 2x square y can be written as 2 into x into x into y. 3y can be written as 3 into y and 2 can be written as 2 into 1. So each term can be written as the product of its factors and all these terms together forms an algebraic expression. If there are negative powers of the variable or there are variables in the denominator, then that algebraic expression is not a polynomial.